This class is brought to you by the LA Care and Blue Shield Promise Community Resource Centers. The centers are a place to help you be active, healthy, and informed. We hope you enjoy this virtual class. Hi, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kim, and I will be teaching a class for you that your entire family can enjoy. So grab a hold of your mat and meet me on a mat for a Pilates class. Good, so now that you're on the mat, you're gonna lie flat on your back with your arms reaching down towards your feet. Your legs are together and your inner thighs are together. Walk your heels in close to your bottom, as close as you can and reach your arms up to the ceiling and reach them all the way back. You wanna make sure your navel is deep into your spine and I want you to think of having a corset on where your right side of the rib cage is pulled up and over to the left and the left is pulled to the right. So it's like you're zipped up and you're pulled in, your inner thighs are together, your abductors are activated, your navel's deep into your spine. You're gonna inhale as you reach your arms up Exhale and reach forward, reaching down for the mat. Shoulders are down, navel into your spine. You zip and keep those legs together. And again. Exhale and return. And we're gonna do three more. Nod forward and fold under the breastbone. And last two. And one more. and release. You're gonna go ahead and give that right knee a nice easy pull as you extend the left leg down straight out in front of you from that hip. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch legs. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and hug both knees right in towards your chest. A really, really nice deep hug. Placing your arms flat on the ground, extend both legs straight up to the ceiling, bring your heels together with your toes apart. Those inner thighs are still activated, so those are the adductor muscles, zipping and pulling those legs together, reaching those arms down with your navel deep into your spine. You're gonna nod forward and fold under the breastbone, reach the arms out long, fingers are together, and vigorously pump your arms up and down for the hundreds. So you're gonna inhale two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and if you need to, you can put your head down, so this will be the modification, but continue pumping vigorously. And inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, and if you need to, you can also bend your knees. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, and five. Return to the mat, giving those knees a nice, easy pull. So we just completed the Pilates 100, and that exercise is the warm-up in Pilates. Flowing, getting the oxygen and blood flowing through the lungs to the muscles, preparing the body to be warmed up so that your body can move easily from one exercise to the next. And now return your feet to the mat. Reach your arms behind you long, extend your right leg straight out in front of you. We're gonna reach the arms down, reach the right leg up to the ceiling and hold it. And now you're gonna reach it all the way down. Inhale up, exhale return. Inhale up for three. Good, two more, stay in control of that left side. Firmly pressing that foot down. Nice, one more time. And bring it in and we're gonna switch legs. Extend the left leg out in front of you with the arms reaching straight back behind you. You wanna make sure you have energy in that right foot as you reach the leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, make sure your chin is facing the ceiling so that you have space in between your chin and your chest so that you can breathe. It's all about breath, one of the Pilates principles. And one more time, stay in control of the body. 
and breathe. Good, we turn those legs in. We're gonna open the legs shoulder width apart. Place your hands on the back of those legs. You're gonna round pull your navel deep into your spine and pull yourself all the way up to sit right on your sit bones. So you're gonna bring yourself back to the center of your mat. Come onto your heels. Reach your arms straight out in front of you. We're gonna inhale and round back all the way to our hands touched our knees. Exhale, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna do that five times. Inhale, round, navel deep into your spine. Exhale, breathe. Make sure those arms are out straight from the shoulders. Inhale, round again, and up. Two more. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. One more. Good, and now from here, we're gonna round all the way back, creating that C curve in the spine. Once you're there, you feel in control. Reach your arms up to press down. One. Exhale and press down. Two. Keep that body nice and quiet. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Navel deep into the spine. Five. Good, guys, we got five more. Five. I'm right here with you. Four. Three, stay focused, two, and one. And we're gonna sit right up nice and easy onto our sit bones. Right from here, guys, we're gonna bring the right arm in and reach it out. Bring it back. So you pull the left, you coil, turn. Twist and reach. Coil, turn, good. One more on each side. Good, so now from here, we're gonna circle. We're gonna reach the right arm back, slide down to your elbow, stretch and hold. Come up and center. Circle the left, slide, reach, come down to the elbow, reaching over, Come up, one more time. Good. Good, so we're gonna circle that arm, coil turn, exhale, breathe, come down to that elbow, keep your navel deep into your spine and use the core to come right back up. Switching sides, we're gonna inhale, exhale, breathe, rotate. Good job. Use your core to come right back up and to the center. So right from here, guys, straighten your legs down in front of you and flex your feet. Hands are right onto your hips, dropping the head. We're gonna start with inhaling as we round down, only as far as you can. Press your arms straight out in front of you. Lift all the way up out of that lower back. Bring your hands open behind you. We're gonna flex the foot, reach the right leg up, point the toe and bring it down. Flex the left, point and bring it down and start from the top. Folding forward, breathe. Open the chest. Don't forget about why breathing is so important. Mental exercise does the body good. Good. One more. Open, release the air from your lungs. It's important to breathe. And remember that movement is healing. And stretch down and forward and hold that stretch. And lift all the way up and circle the arms to complete it. So now guys, go ahead and bend those knees, open your legs shoulder width apart, and you're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna reach the arms forward. From here, they're straight out in front of your shoulder height. We're gonna inhale around, so you're gonna bring your thumbs into your sternum and hold it. We're gonna pull open to the right, come back, pull open to the left, back and sit up nice and tall. Again, inhale round, 
Exhale, present your chest when you open. Present and rotate. And breathe. And inhale, navel deep into your spine. Exhale, open. Good. Rotating that core. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, breathe. I know you feel that, but I'm in here with you. And great. Good, guys. So right from there, we're going to go ahead and lie right back onto our mats. Go ahead and just give yourself a nice hug. Pulling those legs in towards your chest, hugging yourself, rewarding yourself for jumping on this mat and moving today in the comfort of your own space. And lengthen that left leg out one more time and give that right leg a nice, easy, gentle pull. Extend the right leg straight up to the ceiling with your left leg reaching out from your hips. Arms are down on your sides, navel deep into your spine, and we're gonna go straight into leg circles. So you're gonna cross over towards the left side, reach it down and around and circle back. Cross circle, down, around, up. One, make it dynamic. Two, keep that body quiet. Three, stay in control. Four, and reverse. And one, and two, and three, two more, and four, Woo. and five. Give it a nice, easy, gentle pull. And even for myself, these get tough. I've been doing this a long time. That's why I tell you guys I'm in here with you because I definitely feel the work but we all know that the reward is great, both physically and mentally, keeping that left leg long, right leg reaching out from the hip, cross it over and circle. Down, around, up, hold one. We're drawing that circle on the ceiling, two. So think of that leg being a paintbrush, pencil or pen. Three, two more, four, one more. Now reverse, down, around, up, one. And two, and three, and four, and five. Go ahead and give those knees a nice, easy, gentle pull. So you're gonna inhale round, exhale, and release. Inhale, navel deep into your spine. Good, we're gonna do that three more times. And two more. And last time. And return your feet to the mat. Take your right foot and place it on top of your left knee. Place your right hand on the right knee and just give it a nice, easy, gentle press or push. And now grab your left leg and just pull it in towards your chest. Nice and easy. Don't judge yourself on your flexibility or mobility or how you perform in another form of exercise. You're here today, if you're starting today, if you've been doing this for a long time, you know that it only gets better. Switch sides, left, and left, left hand on the left knee. Give it a nice, easy pull. And breathe, just go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity that we have to move. Good, and now go ahead and hug those knees one more time. Your right hand is gonna grab your ankle. Your left hand will grab your left knee. Let's go ahead and just put the left foot on the mat. So your right hand is on your ankle. Your left hand is on your knee. You're going to nod forward. Extend that left leg out. Pull the right leg towards you twice. Pull, pull. Switch sides. Left hand on the ankle. Pull, pull. Switch sides. Two. 
and switch. And if you need to, three. This is the modification. Four. One more. Five. And return to the mat. Give it one nice, easy pull. And now we're just gonna come right up and we're gonna sit on our bottoms. Back to the center of the mat with those legs reaching straight out in front of you. Once again, reaching those arms straight out in front of you, toes are pulled back. We're gonna inhale, pull our navel deep into our spines. Exhale, think of a crown being on the top of your head and you wanna place that crown on the mat in front of you. Pressing those legs down, pull your navel deep into your spine, Press those shoulders down, stack and lift up one vertebra at a time. You have that imaginary string pulling you up to the ceiling, so you're not here and you're not arched, you're right up on those sit bones, and we're gonna do that again. Inhale, round into the C curve. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. Pressing out through the back of those legs, stacking the spine up, pulling up and in. Exhale, and lift, 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 lift. Again, inhale, round. This is spine stretch forward. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. Spine mobility is so important. You're only as young as your spine is mobile and or flexible, is what Joseph Pilates would say. and slowly round it back. Good, one more time, spine stretch forward. Inhale, round. You create that letter C within your spine. Exhale, dive forward. Release the air from your lungs. Round up. Exhale, stack the spine and sit up nice and tall. Bring those legs together. I like to do this with my hands out from my hips or just bring them a little bit back behind the hips. Sitting up nice and tall with your feet flexed, you're gonna reach and extend your legs down. Once your feet and toes are reached down in front of you, legs are pressed down, tilt the pelvis up, 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 up. Exhale, roll all the way down and sit. Good, so we're gonna do that again. Pull your belly button deep into your spine. Lift, 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 lift. And roll all the way down. We're gonna do that three more times, guys. Navel deep into your spine, tilt the pelvis. Lift up, open the chest. Don't allow your head to fall behind you. Two more, navel deep into your spine, tilt the pelvis as you come up. Exhale. And one more. Lift, 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 lift. And roll all the way down and forward. Take your right leg and bend it. Put that right foot right on top of that left leg. Left leg stretched out in front of you. Reach your arms up to the ceiling and we're gonna fold forward. Place your hands on the mat and just let it all hang out. Nice and easy. This is not a sprint. It's definitely a marathon. So take your time, breathe. And roll up. And we're gonna do that three more times. Don't forget about that breath. And moving with the intention. So set an intention of why you're on this mat exercising today. I find that that's always helpful. If you move with intention, you normally receive better results. So we're gonna have that right leg straight, left leg bent. Arms up to the ceiling. You're gonna inhale, round forward. Exhale, release the air from your lungs as you dive down and hang out. Just let it all out. 
Good, nice and easy. Take your time. Do what feels right within your body. Remember, we're not competing with anyone, nor are we competing with ourselves. So what it looks like on you, it may look different on me. Two more times, guys. And just hang out, breathe. Stretch all the way forward and down. And we have just one more, nice and easy. Exhale, release the air from our lungs, fold forward and all the way out. And roll up. And now from there, you're gonna go ahead and take that leg out and just give it a nice, easy shake and rub down. And we're gonna lie onto our mats once again, right in the center of the mat. And we're gonna go into the corkscrew, which is one of my favorite exercises. A small, easy movement that really, really gets that core going. So extend your legs straight up to the ceiling. And from here, guys, you have your arms reaching down in front of you. You want to make sure that your chin is not on your chest. So create the space that we talked about earlier. Zip those inner thigh muscles, which are your adductors together. You're going to coil towards the right. We're going to draw small circles onto the ceiling with two legs back to the center and hold. We're going to make those nice and easy and small today. Corkscrew. Good, focus on keeping the body quiet and precise, controlled and balanced. Reach out. One more, keeping those shoulders down. And if you're feeling like a challenge, you can get a little bigger. Good, let's try one more. Sweeping, good. and return. Go ahead and give yourself a nice gentle hug. Good, so now we're gonna go ahead and return our feet to the mat, opening our legs shoulder width apart. And from here, guys, we're gonna go ahead and just nod forward and roll down and Tilt the pelvis up. So you nod forward. Breathe and firmly press those feet down with tilt. And three more. Inhale. Good. And tilt. Two more. And up, 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 up. And one more. And tilt the pelvis up, open the chest, reaching those arms down in front of you, stabilizing your core, pull your navel deep into your spine, reach your arms up to the ceiling, and now reach your arms back behind you. Press your arms down five times. One, keep the body nice and quiet. Two, navel deep into the spine. Three, two more. Four, one more. And five, slowly return the spine nice and easy to the mat. Good. Now allow the left leg to hang long. Extend that right leg up to the ceiling. Walk your hands up to the ankle if you can and just give it a nice, easy, gentle pull. Flex your foot, bring your knee down towards your chest and hold it. Press through the heel of the foot Straighten and then extend and switch sides. So now from here, you're gonna give that left a nice, easy, gentle pull. 
Extend the leg all the way up to the ceiling. Walk your hands up to that ankle and just relax in that stretch. Flex your foot, pull your knee down towards your chest. Push through the heel of the foot, reach. Breathe in it. Good, and from there guys, we're gonna go ahead, come up, and we're gonna kneel onto our knees. So you're kneeling on your knees, and we're gonna bring those hands right under the shoulders. And we're in a quadruped position. And we're gonna start with the flat back. We want the energy coming out through the top of the head as well as the tailbone. So we're gonna inhale and round up. Exhale, drop it down, forward, open. You're gonna reverse it and then sit back. So you inhale, we're gonna round up like an angry cat. Exhale, press it down. Don't sink down into the small of the back. Open the chest up. Reverse. And reach out. Three more times. Inhale, round. Exhale, forward. And reverse the energy up, up, up like an angry cat. And then articulate Manipulate the spine and hang out. And last two. And breathe. And round. And back. One more time. Inhale, round. Focus on your breath. Articulating that spine. Press down into those hands. Drive. The hands down as you open the chest, round through the spine again, and exhale, sit. Come back to your elbows, make a fist, and we're gonna reach the right leg straight back behind us. The right leg, ball of the left, lift your right leg up, cross it over, and reach it up and out. So you go cross, reach, good, keep going. Cross, reach, lift, good. Three, we're going for 10, four. Woo, I know you feel that one. Five, keep pushing. Stay focused, six. Don't forget about your intention, so when it gets tough, just focus on your why. Three more, and now to get you through, three. Last two. Two. One more. One. Woo! And breathe. And we're gonna go ahead onto the left side. You don't have to turn, but I'm gonna turn so you can see it a little better. Drag it back, lift it up, and cross it over. One. Two. Good. Three. Keep breathing. Four, stay focused on your purpose and your why. Five, when it gets tough, just keep breathing. Six, we're almost there, guys. Seven, three more, three, two more, two. I know you felt that one. One, and so did I. Oh my goodness. And now come all the way in, press it all the way out, stretch and hold. And we're gonna come right back up. And now I'm gonna turn back to this direction 
And so while you're here, we're gonna go right into bringing your hands lined up with your shoulders once again, keeping your body shoulder width apart, meaning your hands are shoulder width apart, your knees are shoulder width apart, and you're in the quadruped position. Right from here, we're gonna bring our right hand to our left shoulder, one, two, you step your right foot back, you step your left foot back, step your right foot in, left foot in. We're gonna do the other side. Left, right, left foot, right foot. One more on each side. And right, left, right foot, left foot, right foot. One more, left, right, left foot, Right foot, left foot, right foot. Who said we don't have fun in Pilates? And press all the way down. And just hang out here. Release the air from your lungs and just relax. Thank yourself for honoring your body with movement today. You deserve this stretch. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale again through the nose, and then exhale, and breathe. Slowly roll up, stacking the spine. Focus on centering, returning your body, and just relax. Keep the shoulders down. Check to make sure you still have that corset on. Your shoulders are down. Your spine is neutral. Your rib cage is closed. And... Relax. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week and at one of our resource centers as soon as we can. Until then, stay active, healthy, and informed.